Welcome back to our series on the Roman Empire. In part one, we explored the rise of Rome, from its humble beginnings to its emergence as a dominant power in the Mediterranean world. In part two, we will delve into the Roman Empire, its conquests, its glory, and its eventual decline. The Roman Empire was built on the back of its legions, highly disciplined and well-trained soldiers who fought for the glory of Rome. These soldiers were the backbone of the Roman military, and they were led by some of the greatest generals in history, men like Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Augustus. Julius Caesar was one of the most famous of these generals, a man who conquered Gaul and changed the course of Roman history. But his rise to power was not without controversy. In 59 BCE, Caesar was brought to trial on charges of corruption and bribery. He defended himself in court and was ultimately acquitted, but his political enemies never forgot the incident. Caesar went on to win many battles and become one of the most celebrated leaders in Roman history. But his success ultimately led to his downfall. In 44 BCE, Caesar was assassinated by a group of senators who feared his growing power. The assassination led to a period of civil war and political instability in Rome. Mark Antony, he was involved in one of the most dramatic naval battles in history, the Battle of Actium. His defeat at the hands of Octavian, later known as Augustus, marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was born in 27 BCE, when the Roman Republic transitioned into an autocratic government led by Augustus. But the empire truly came into its own under the rule of his successor, Trajan. Trajan was a military genius, and he led the Roman army to some of its greatest victories. He expanded the empire to its greatest territorial extent, conquering Dacia and parts of Mesopotamia. Under Trajan's rule, the Roman Empire stretched from Spain to Mesopotamia, and it was the largest empire in the world at that time. But it wasn't just on the battlefield where the Romans excelled. The Roman legal system was one of the most sophisticated of its time, and its influence can still be felt today. One famous case was that of the philosopher Seneca. Accused of conspiring against Emperor Nero, Seneca was given the choice to either commit suicide or face execution. He chose the former and was remembered for his stoic philosophy. But what was life like for the common people in Rome? Well, it wasn't all gladiatorial games and grand architecture. Many Romans lived in cramped, unsanitary conditions, and their daily lives were filled with hard work. However, there were some luxuries available to the average Roman, such as the famous Roman baths. These were not just places to clean oneself, but also to socialize and relax. And let's not forget the food and drink. The Romans were famous for their culinary delights, such as roasted meats, olives, and wine. Of course, no story about the Roman Empire would be complete without mentioning the many colorful characters that shaped its history. One of the most famous was Cleopatra, the Egyptian queen who famously seduced Julius Caesar and later Mark Antony. Despite its flaws, the Roman Empire continued to expand and conquer new territories. The empire reached its height under the rule of Trajan, who expanded the empire to its greatest extent. But the seeds of the empire's decline were already being sown. Economic problems, political instability, and military defeats would eventually lead to the downfall of one of the greatest empires in human history. Join us next time for part 3, The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, as we explore the final chapter in Rome's history.